All right. So find a difference approximation of the 2D Poisson's operator, uh, the 2D Laplace operator. The Laplace operator is basically the partial square over partial x square plus partial square over partial y square. It appears a lot in uh, mathematics, particularly in differential equations. So this is just a, a summation of two one-dimensional differential operators. The first dimension is in x, the second dimension is y, right? And remember, in the 1D case, the second derivative of u can be approximated by u of i plus 1 plus u of i minus 1 minus 2ui divided by delta x squared. And we used Taylor series analysis to either derive this or analyze its order of accuracy. And just to remind, order of accuracy means as delta x goes to zero, how fast does the error of this approximation go to zero? And do we remember what is the order of accuracy of this scheme? It's second order, which means the truncation error, the error of this approximation, scales like delta x squared. If it scales like delta x, it's called first order. If it scales like delta x cubed, it's called third order. All right. So this operator is second order. The truncation error, left minus right, scales with delta x squared, a constant times delta x squared. Now in 2D, we can do the same thing. That's not, okay, we can do the same thing. The partial square u, partial x square, plus partial square u, partial y square. Now we have more than the index i. We have u i plus one and j plus u i minus 1 and j. So they are taking the finite difference operator at the same j to approximate the x derivative. Okay. And we also add this up with u i of j plus 1 plus u i of j minus 1 minus 2 u i j divided by now delta y square, where delta x is the distance between two adjacent x grid points, and delta y is the distance between two adjacent y grid points. All right. So now we have an approximation to this operator. If I have the Poisson's equation, which means this is equal to f, okay? That means, let me write approximation, that means this finite difference operator can be equalized to f of ij. So this equation, which means, which, which is written out as a linear combination of five different values of u at five grid points is equal to fij. So let's say this is, if this is ij under consideration, okay, the value of f at these grid points is equal to a linear combination of ui plus 1j, which is this point, this is ui plus 1j, right? u i minus 1 j, these grid points, minus 2 u i j, so these grid points, and u i j plus 1, that's here, u i j minus 1, that's here, and u i j again is here. So we have five, we have five grid points and five different coefficients to multiply with the u at these grid points. Add them together, they should equal to f at the center grid points. And the same equation should apply to every single interior grid point, right? 
So if we have nx minus 1 interior grid points in x, we have ny minus 1 interior grid points in y. This is not a single equation. This is nx minus 1 times ny minus 1 equations. Okay. Again, how many unknowns do we have? If we know the boundary conditions, u of i, j equal to 0, if i is equal to 0, or i is equal to nx, or j is equal to 0, or j is equal to ny. So if we have this boundary condition, the simplest type of boundary condition, how many unknowns do we have? Exactly. So this gives us nx minus 1 times ny minus 1 equations for the same number of unknowns. And all these equations are linear equations, right? So by this finite difference approximation of the 2D Laplace operator, we convert it the partial differential equation into a set of linear equations that uniquely, that combines with the boundary condition, I need to say, uniquely determines the numerical solution.